back now on Home Design, we are joined by Hamish, who has got some design ideas to revive your outdoor spaces, because it's the time of year when you start looking outside and going, oh, it's a bit manky. It is. It's my busy time. I've hit that magic Christmas rush period where everything wants to see everything done for, you know, Auntie Martha's coming to stay, of course. So one of the things that's kicking in is what shall I do outside to dress up my areas? Um, what can I paint? And I thought, well, I'll pop down to Razine, have a chat to them, see what's different out there, rather than the status quo, and see where we go. So, okay, cool. What have you got? It's like show well, and tell. I rolled down there, and I have my... my box of treasure here for you, Mike. Don't you? Oh, nice. box of, okay. You can well, yeah. bring one at a time. Oh, no, that's not exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my little box of treasure. Okay, thing we're going to talk about now is we're going to talk about driveways, um, paths, and sort of outdoor patio areas, yep. okay? Now, the first simple thing you can do if you're wanting to do any prep work to it or you just want to clean up the area you've got, we're going to be going backwards and forwards between these because there's lots of processes. We're going to get this. This is Resine Deep Clean, okay? Nice. So basically, you can spray this on. As the weather dictates, it'll clean it and scrub it off for you over time. So it's a put a product down, walk away, leave it alone. So you can use okay. this on um, on your outdoor stonework, uh, on concrete. Like we're a little picture. We're got a before and after. There you go. Before and after. Oh, we like uh, the before and after. You know, black sooty kind, and there it is, all cleaned up. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, so it's quite a simple process, and it can sort of add new life to something rather than having to rip it out and start from scratch. And it's pretty easy. You just need a knapsack spray to get out there and have a go. Oh, nice. You don't need to water blast it. No, you don't. Okay, next thing we have a little chat about, we're going to talk about a product called Concrete Stain. Okay, now we've heard of Concrete Paint, which we're going to cover in a minute. Mm -hmm. But Concrete Stain is much as the same as the name says. So it's see-through. So if you've got um, an exposed concrete or a ground concrete, so it's got texture in it, you're going to be able to stain it a colour and away you go. Now, catches. There are a whopping six colours, okay? Okay. I have them in the brochure. Nice. I'm going to open them up for you quickly and let you have a little look. I'm a little so, confused. We're not talking about staining your driveway. We're not talking about... Well, you could. It's concrete. I'm going to plonk this down over here for you guys. Yes. As you can see, there are six colours you can choose from. Oh, nice. Autumn oh. awesome leaves is nice. Uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, like that's that not one. too bad. I mean, I'd probably stick to the greys if right. I was doing anything, but okay. I'm a little bit simple there. I think if you drive on it or walk Come on, on it, okay, it should be earthy colours. It's a sense of adventure. <laughs> I, I, yes, I'm lacking in adventure when it comes to staining my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next thing we're going to have a look at is concrete paint. Now, concrete paint uh, is a, it's becoming more and more popular. So perhaps you might have the uh, terracotta coloured concrete pavers outside, or perhaps, well, any colour you're not that keen on. There you go. Oh, that's actually the concrete stain going down, so you can have a little look at the concrete oh, stain okay, up there. Great. Yep. So you can see how you can change the colour of it to give you what you want. There's concrete paint for you. Oh, that's good. I like that. Okay, so when you're going to want to paint your concrete, you're going to use the moss remover. Okay, okay? Right. you're going to spray that on. But this here needs to be scrubbed on afterwards, so it's not just a spray and walk away. This is spray on, scrub, clean, to get ready for your concrete paint. Okay? But well worth doing that, because well, prep is everything. I think it? it is. Okay. And, Oh, hang on, I've got to get my little concrete tin out for you. Okay, okay. Resine walk on, so that is your solid one, okay? Brilliant. Right. Solid so colour. Walked on it, it'll be really good, okay? Yeah, oh, and I'm just going to grab my little stain one out. Oh, and concrete okay. stain. Those are your two products there. Fabulous. Can we move on now to something like. Okay, um, decks. Okay. And decks. Everyone talks about fences and decks, and everyone automatically thinks of putting stain on them. Stain's yep. great, sure, um, and it's relatively quick. Uh, problem with it is it doesn't last as long, and I think you can get different effects with it. So, what you're going to do, once again, we're going to use our moss. Killer, spray the fence, clean it up, right? This is assuming that it's got um, just, you know, it's a regular plain fence yep. at the moment. Then you can paint it with Resine Lumber Cider, which is a nice sort of um, low sheen sort of finish to the paint. What happens if you've already got like a stain on it? If you've already got a stain on it, you can go over the top of the okay. stain. If you've got a paint, you've got to make sure the quality's there. There in the picture, there's a painted fence. You see? Yes. Quite different. It gives us a solid block of colour, which I really like. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. That's really okay. cool. I like that. There you go. Once again, another use of it where you've painted a screen, a solid timber but screen. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. I want a backyard like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's right. Mountain. Now, you can also, of course, use it on uh, on decks as well. Now, people go, painted decks. Well, painted decks were quite common. And there you go. If you've got an old villa, of course, people have often painted them greys. Yeah, yes. Nice. So it's the, the, the bluish grey of the villa. There's moving move to a, a browner grey, which is probably where I'd be sitting if I was painting yeah, my deck and be, moving through the dark colours. Obviously, if you're painting in the dark colours, you want to use perhaps resin cool colours when you're doing it. And uh, you want to think about, uh, you know, the environment. So if it's heavy sun, you know, you're going to run into a problem. It's yep. going to get pretty hot. Okay. Okay, well, I tell you, you've given us a lot there. What else have you got for us? Okay. How much time have I got? Have I got much left? Oh, oh. A couple of minutes. I've only got maybe. a couple of minutes. Okay, one thing I do want to cover off for you is um, aluminium joinery. Now, we've all seen hideous aluminium joinery, bronze colours, all sorts of crazy things. 
Um, I know, I hate it when people take out old windows put aluminium ones in. So is there a way you can make them look good? There is. You can use um, resin vinyl etch. Um, so you prep the surface with that, you paint it on, and then basically you can use any of the resin lustrecrawl colours you desire, and away you go. Okay, huge oh, range. So it's, I mean, it's going to be fiddly work and it's going to take a bit of time, but there's someone who's painted their joinery out black, really which is pretty on profit right so now. So, what about outdoor houses? What sort of the colours on trend at the moment? Okay, so we have seen a lot of green greys when we've been painting houses. I think we're kind of moving back into the slightly cream edge, which is really interesting. We're bringing back a little bit of warmth to the colour. It's both inside and outside. Uh, we still are if we're using a grey, it's a green grey. And then there comes to things like if you're going to paint brick, etc. Now, if you want to paint brick, there's two ways. Old brick, you're going to need to use um, a sure seal primer on the brickwork right. because it can be chalky, and then you can paint over the top of it with your regular lumber cider, two coats. Nice. Right now, if you've got really new concrete, you can just use standard concrete primer. Benefit is, and the difference here, water-based, easy to clean up. Sure seal, oil-based, <laughs> hard to clean up, very smelly. Okay. Right. Got so it. that's basically those are your two differences. And as far as prep goes, if you're prepping timber, you want to clean it, you want to use deck and timber prep. Awesome. Excellent work. Thank Thanks, you so Hamish. much, Hamish. There's there a lot of good information. That, well, there. Was, there was a lot to cram in no, there. No, no, but resin well, make it easy as well. If you want to get the look, go to resin.co.nz, and we will see you next time. Cool. I might yes. take some of that paint though. Yes, I will. <laughs>